One in four black older people live in persistently low income and this is a problem which we need to delve into. We've talked in a previous video about how home ownership is one of the main ways that we can provide some security for ourselves later on in life. One of the other main ways that we can do that is by having a healthy pension pot. You put money in through your working life and then when you retire, when you stop working, you can start to draw money out from that fund to fund your life until, you know, until the time comes to leave this particular life. You can be putting in a very small amount, but over time that amount compounds. You start to earn interest on the amount that you've saved and that interest starts to earn interest on the interest. And so it compounds over time and eventually if you've been paying in for a long amount of time, what started off as very small contributions can translate into a very big pot. In addition to that, the employer can match your contributions. This is one of the things to be looking out for in the workplace. When you're looking, when you're thinking about negotiating salaries and pay benefits and stuff like that, look very closely at the pensions and think about those pension, those employers who will match your contributions and guarantee to put in, you know, five, ten percent. There is something called auto enrollment. What once you are over, I think it's twenty-two years of age, and once you're earning over a certain amount of money you are automatically enrolled into your workplace pension. You can opt out of that pension, but the thing with opting out of the pension is that you've got to remember to opt back in and you've got to remember that every month, every year that you're not putting in, that is future income that you're leaving on the table. When you look at the data, black and other minority ethnic groups have smaller pension pots, they're much less likely to even have a pension and they put less into their pensions. 44% of black older households receive an occupational pension compared to 61% of white older households. In addition, on average, black older households receive £47 a week from occupational pensions compared to £169 per week for white older households. So among those people who do get a pension, the value of that pension, the value of that income coming in, the, the amount of that income coming in is lower for black families than it is for white families, white pensioners. According to a survey by Legal in General, 69% of the respondents who were from a minority ethnic group didn't have a pension pot at all. And that compared to 44% of their white British counterparts. I've spoken before about the importance of housing and how housing is one of the main ways that you can ensure some level of security later on in life. Unfortunately, less than half of black people aged between 50 and 69 are homeowners. Only about 10% of black people aged in that age bracket own their ho own homes outright. Another 20% roughly had a mortgage, which means that over half of all the black people aged between 50 and 69 years old were renting. One other thing I just want to point out is that black people are much more likely to be living in London. And guess what? It's more expensive to rent in London. This is why when you look at official statistics, black older people living in persistently low income before housing costs, if you don't look at housing costs, around 7% of these people were living in, in low income basically, which is actually lower than the national average, which is 11% of older people living in low income. But once you factor in housing costs, you find that that shoots up from 7% shoots all the way up to 24%. That's one in four of black people who are older black people were living in persistent, lo, persistently low income as compared to only 10% of the general population after housing costs. So what that should tell you is that housing is absolutely key. And this is why I said in my previous video that owning a home is something that we really ought to be seriously considering doing either owning a home or owning property, something. We need something to be able to pay our housing costs later on in life or to, to not have any housing costs, you know, rent or, or mortgage by paying it off outright, like quite a lot of the older people in the other ethnic groups do. I think it's really important that if you're in your 30s, 40s and 50s, especially if you're a parent, I think it's really, really important that you start to take these kinds of questions about pensions and how are you gonna live in retirement extremely seriously. For one thing, who's to say that you're gonna be able, we're gonna be able to rely on the state in 30, 40, 50 years? We just don't know what the landscape's gonna be. I think a lot of us have got this idea of the government and the state as being our, our parent who loves us and they won't let anything harmful happen to us. But I think we really need to get that out of our heads. 
as time goes by, there's going to be more and more people retiring, which means that the the needs are going to be greater and there are going to be less and less people working because the overall working population in the UK is getting smaller and smaller and smaller because people are having less children. So I, I think we, we need to get real about what the future holds for us as people who are going to be retiring in the next 20, 30, 40 years. I think also as well, it's really important that we don't lumber our children with having to look after us. Now that does sound weird because I do think family is absolutely critical to wealth and happiness and prosperity. And I think that I personally think children should be helping and supporting their parents, you know, when they're retired. But that's only something that you can count on if you've been raising your children in that way. If you've been equipping them to have the skills and the expertise and the knowledge and the inclination to want to look after you and the, and the means by which to look after you. But I don't think that we're doing that as a community. I don't think we're doing that in the black community. So I think it's pretty short-sighted for older people to be thinking that their children are going to be looking after them if they haven't actually given them the skills and expertise and material resources to be able to do that. I would suggest that you, if you're in that kind of age bracket and you haven't already started putting into a pension, I suggest really consider looking into it to understand whether it's something that you should be doing. The earlier that you start, the better. Even if you're putting in small amounts, this, this is something that applies to you younger people. If you're young, just starting out in your career, start putting into a pension now. A pension is not an old person thing. A pension is an investment that will be, the, the more you put in and the earlier you put into a pension, the bigger it will be when it's time to actually draw down from said pension. Think about how much money per year, how much income per year you will need when you retire. Do it, sit down, think about all of the essential things that you're gonna, you think you'll be spending or you know needing when you're retired and work out, calculate how much that annual income would need to be and then go to something like a pensions calculator. All, all these companies have pensions calculators where you can go calculate what you're you put in your age, put in your salary, and it will tell you if you put in this amount per year, per month, and your employee put, employer puts in this amount, this is how much you'll be looking forward to on an annual basis on top of the state pension. These are the conversations that we need to be having more and more in family gatherings, friend gatherings, gatherings and so forth. Let's encourage each other to think about serious stuff, not just the banter, not just the football, not just the music and this, that and the other, not just the Instagram trends. Let's start talking about our future. Let's start encouraging each other, iron sharpening iron, to make these kinds of decisions to build wealth for ourselves individually, but especially for our families and for our communities. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really look forward to hearing your thoughts on this and your experiences with regard to pensions. Please make sure if you like these videos and you want to see more that you like and that you subscribe and check out this video here that YouTube should should suggest, I always trip up on that one. Check this video here that YouTube will recommend for you to watch. And also this video here, which I think you might find useful and interesting. All right, take care and I'll see you next time.